Hello homeowners, welcome and today I'm going to talk about why your circuit breaker may be continuously tripping. It continuously trips and you're not sure why and you keep going back to the panel to reset it and it continues to trip. So I'm going to first explain a little bit about your circuit breaker and your circuit itself so you can kind of get an understanding and work your way back from there. I'm going to explain to you all the reasons why it could be tripping and what you can do about it. So. Um, the first thing is, is that most of the circuits in your home are 120 volts. Unless you've got a water heater that's electric, a furnace that's electric, um, your stove, your air conditioning condenser, those things are going to run on much higher power, 240 or 240. Okay, so now you've got a 120 volt circuit and you, let's say your breaker is a 20 amp breaker. And so you do the 120 times 20, so the volts times the amps, equals 2,400 watts. So that's the maximum number of watts that you could be drawing at any given point on that circuit at one time, okay? So let's say you've got a circuit that's going to your bathroom and you've got uh, the lights in the ceiling, you've got you've got a curling iron plugged in and now you've got a hair dryer right sometimes hair dryers are 1500 watts just on their own and maybe that circuit's got two bathrooms on it or who knows what especially if it's an older house they kind of strung a lot of things together you have to look at the watt usage for everything that you've got on that circuit and then add it all up and say okay now i'm exceeding i'm, I'm hitting that 2400 watt you should actually not be using more than 75% of that 2400 at any given point. So uh, what is that, 1800 watts is the most you should be using. Okay, so if you, if you get too close to that 2400 watts using that 20 amp breaker scenario, then uh, you will be tripping the breaker, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is go back, check the circuit, see what's plugged in. Okay, start unplugging things. You may have a space heater in the winter. Those things draw a lot, okay? So start unplugging things, flip the breaker again, and then see if it trips. And then one by one, you can start plugging things back and then see what it is that's causing it to trip. Now, if it's nothing that is plugged in, or it's none of your lights or anything else to that effect, then you have to say, okay, maybe I have, uh, something's not wired properly or I could have a loose wire or you could have a short so meaning let's say one of the the let's say the uh, load wire the, the hot wire in one of your outlets popped off and now it's touching the side of the uh, electrical box it's touching ground the that could cause a trip how do you know if it's something like that well if you go to reset the breaker and it immediately trips off, that's likely what's happening. It's likely gonna be something that well, there's a faulty wire happening. So in that situation, you're gonna to have to unscrew your outlets that are on that circuit, or if maybe it's a circuit that's just lights, open up the, uh, the, switch, the switch panel there and make sure everything's wired properly, make sure there's no cuts in the wire, and then go check your lights, make sure your lights are wired properly. So this is, that's a little bit of a pain to do, but that's what you're gonna to have to do to figure out you know, why it's tripping. If you've checked everything and it's still tripping, then you may have a faulty breaker, okay? Um, now you can swap out your breaker. You can get a new breaker at your local home improvement store. It's gotta match the, the same type of breaker that you have in your panel right now so for example, if you've got a Siemens panel, you're using Siemens breakers, you wanna replace it with a Siemens, bre Siemens breaker. Same thing with Eaton, and a lot of people have Eaton, you use an Eaton breaker. So that's the other thing that you'll have to do is maybe swap that out. Maybe you have a 15 amp breaker that's controlling a circuit that's got electrical outlets. What I would recommend in that situation is, is if you have a, a 12 gauge wire that's, that's at your breaker, and that wire is powering outlets that you change that breaker to a 20 amp breaker because you you can plug one device in to that uh, that uses a lot of power into that outlet and you're going to trip your breaker okay 
so maybe you have um, an arc fault breaker. If you don't know what that, I don't have one here, but if you don't, if you do not um, uh, know what that is, I'm going to put a picture of an arc fault breaker up in the corner here, or maybe over my face. Who knows? Maybe it'll make my face look better. Um, and it's a breaker that's got usually a blue button on it. And what that is, is a breaker like that is now required by code in most places. And it is the breaker that's controlling the power going to appliances typically. Um, and so what that arc fault breaker is going to do is it's going to trip when it notices uh, a huge variation in power. So if the power just surges or drops, it notices a, a fluctuation, it will trip. And usually this will happen on a microwave. So maybe you have an arc fault breaker and it's on your microwave and you, you ever use a microwave when you're turning it on high and you're heating something up and all of a sudden you hear it ramp up, it goes like, like it's getting louder, like it, it's surging. Well, what's happening is, is you've got these band, bandwidths of, of power and then all of a sudden it spikes higher because of that surge. And um, if that's the case, you you can unplug your your uh, microwave and then and then see if the breaker holds or not, or you can turn your microwave setting down to the lowest setting, because then the the uh, power bands will be much shallower, like small waves instead of instead of deep waves. Okay, so that's if you've got an arc fault breaker, and um, the other like I said, the last th the other thing that we talked about was if your breaker could be bad, but that's the last thing I would do after you've checked everything else. You could also have a faulty GFCI, and your GFCI should be the first thing that's tripped if it is installed properly, and you may even have a GFCI breaker. So a GFCI breaker would be a breaker you might install that would control power that goes to, let's say, a wet area, uh, outlets that are around your kitchen sink, outlets that are in your bathrooms. You could use a GFCI breaker instead of a GFCI outlet in the bathroom or in, next to the sink in the kitchen. So it could be that that's tripping for whatever reason and maybe you've got a faulty GFCI or you've got something else happening downstream. So I hope this helped you in figuring out how to determine why your, your particular breaker continues to trip. It might be different for everybody. Oh, one last thing, I wanna show you something. Okay, this is an outlet tester. And another thing you can do, which will be helpful to you, and it'll, instead of you opening up all of your outlets, you can plug this in while the breaker's on. If the breaker will stay on, you can plug this in and it will show you whether your outlet is wired properly. Okay, and on here it's hard to read, but there are a lot of different descriptions as to which lights come on. And if these two lights come on, what, th what does that mean? If this light comes on, what does that mean? It's all, the instructions are right on here. And it'll tell you if it's not wired properly or if maybe you've got a, um, uh, an open ground, an open neutral, an open hot, meaning it's kind of not connected. And so it'll tell you, tip you off. It, that this outlet's got a problem. So that'll help you if, you're, if your breaker's staying on for a few minutes, you, you test it with one of these. Okay, so thanks for, very much for watching. Please hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. Ask all of your questions down below. I will respond. I'll do my best to answer as to you know what you should do depending on what your situation is. Hope you have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you next time.